Which of the following sets of data would be best represented by a circle graph? The percent of recent United States immigrants from different continents, the life expectancies of various animals, college tuition increases over the last five years for a state university, the percents of people living in urban and rural regions in each of the last six years, and the number of kilowatt hours of electricity used by a household each month over a one-year period. I've written below, a circle graph works best when comparing parts of a whole. Which of these compares parts of a whole? Let's look at A, the percent of recent United States immigrants from different countries. So your total immigration would be your whole, and then over on our little circle graph, you could have different parts of percentages from each country. Country, So perhaps this would be Kenya, just as an example. And you'd have other countries and each little piece of the pie throughout. So A works well. Why aren't the other ones the best? Well, life expectancies of various animals, I would say that would be a bar chart comparing all the different expectancy, life expectancies. College tuition increases over the last five years. Well, that would work well as a line graph because you want to compare how it's changing over time. In D, you see percents, but again, they want to know in each of the last six years, so that might be better represented in a bar graph. And E, the number of kilowatt hours electricity used by a household each month over a one-year period. Uh, when I get my power bill, they always put that in a bar graph. So that's, again, probably better as a bar graph. So your answer is A.